On August 14th, 2020, 14 of us strangers decided to completely surrender and jump out of a plane at 13,500 feet. We thought it was really important to share our story in hopes to inspire. This is us saying yes. And we are rolling. Hi, uh, my name is Zach. Hey, my name is Ryan. I'm uh, part of the Yes Theory Montreal group that went to Parachute Montreal going skydiving. Hey, my name is, uh, is Bakir. I'm uh, 19. I'm from Algeria. Hi, everyone. My name is Maison. Hi, Krishna. Hello, guys. How are you? So it was my first time with the Yes Fam Montreal. I've uh, been on a group, on the Facebook group for about a year now. And with the COVID situation, I just wanted to be more involved. It wasn't my first meeting, but experience and going outside with people, yeah, it was my first time. Yes and no. We went hiking to Mount Bruno uh, a couple days ago before the skydive. I really am thankful that I joined the group and uh, that I started uh, reaching out to more people, finding out uh, how I could really test the, the, the limits or go beyond my limits uh, of what my both my mind and my body were setting for myself. When I saw the post of Chance, I was like very excited because it's something that I always wanted to do it, just like her, and I never took the time to take the time, I guess, to do it. I just said, let me do it and try it. Is there a special for that? Même pas. For the fun? Yeah, oui. Just because we're going to trip. What? I'm not too sure why I did it. I just, um, I tagged along for one of the other members from the Yes Theory fam. Just like, I was like, oh, you're doing it? I'm gonna do it too. It was in my bucket list for so long. And then I meet the same kind of people. It just happened and I said, okay, okay let's do it. Was I scared or anxious? I would say yes. I was more anxious to meet everyone when we went to Mont Saint Bruno to, to meet each other. My anxiety is more social, so. This is why I was like more scared to meet people and do small talk and find something in common with them. But I guess this went very well. So once we met up again to go skydiving, I was not that scared anymore. I was like, that's it, I'm doing it. I have no control over it. Like someone is going to push me, so that's fine. Honestly, if I had if I hadn't met the, the amazing people uh, in part of Yes Theory, um, I don't think I ever would have gone skydiving. I think I would have constantly made excuses not to go and probably would have just blown it off altogether. Scared? Yes, I was, but the day, the day of the skydive, I wasn't, I didn't feel anything. Yeah, yes, I was scared at first, but it is just that uh, it was more of an energy and excitement that I had that time. Uh, so, the only the 30 seconds or 40 seconds where I was scared when I was like about to jump out of the plane with my instructor. So that time the only uh, the 30 to 40 seconds in the gap of that window that I really feel scared. But uh, apart from that, it was all excitement. It was all thrill. I actually don't have a fear of heights, um, but did I feel scared? Um, anxious a bit at the beginning we were going like you know when we were lifting off from the airplane i felt a bit anxious but like nothing's too serious i like cleared my mind meditated a bit on the on the airplane i was like all good to go but i don't think i was scared i think i was more anxious more like the anticipation and waiting that was more like um frightening uh, for me it was extremely extremely scary uh, i think the most definitely the most scariest thing I've done in my life. I'm really, really glad I did it because first of all, now I can cross off skydiving from lists of things I wish I had done when I was young. And two, the whole experience, as scary as it was, has made all my other fears especially irrational fears, way easier to deal with. All right, we're about halfway up.
Hey, how was it? It was amazing, actually. Skydiving was a great experience because it did change, like, my perspective on holding up. I would say most of the time, like, we hold up, we say no, we'll do, it, we'll do it later, or like, well, was, I, I am always pushing back stuff I want to do. So I think that was a, the first time I was like, no, let's do it now. Let's not think about it. Just do it. Anxiety, like, um, it changed my life. I had, um, I had an incident when I went to Turkey. I didn't tell you guys about this, but I, was, I, was, uh, I went to a swimming pool and you know those slides where, where you slide? Yeah. By your back, I slide with my face. So I jumped with my face. So I had a shock. From that day, I had a problem with my stomach. When, when I went back to Algeria, I had a lot of problems with anxiety. I don't know why. I don't know what's the connection between them. Um, after like three, four months, I felt like if I, if I continue doing this, I will, I will like just die. Like, I, I won't do anything in my life. So just, I said, like, let me let me try. Let me do something scary for me, something that may make me anxious. Um, so I will just face my fears. That's it. So that's where I started. I left Algeria. The first, uh, the first big step that I did. So I had uh, the worst two weeks of my life when I came here. I'm still like trying to to face it. I'm st I'm trying to fight it. Um, I, I just I don't want to live like in my house the, the rest of my life. I just I just want to live my life. That's it. So I guess this is the lesson I learned, and the lesson that like everyone could learn that don't wait around to do stuff. Like the more we wait, the more we find excuses for ourselves. Like I'm, I I am always the first one to find excuses for myself. Like oh no, I don't have the money, and when I have the money, I don't have the time. And when I have the time and the money, is not the right time to do it for me in my life right now, da da da. And I feel like we have to stop finding excuses for ourselves. Like, if you want to do something, do it for you. And do it as quickly as possible. If it's possible, obviously. Fear and anxiety has played a significant role in my life. In regards that when I was younger, it was difficult to put myself out there and make new friends and just uh, catch any opportunities that were thrown by life to me. I kind of just dismissed them um, because I was scared of the unknown and change, right? So uh, with self-development throughout the years, uh, that's definitely been better. And this would be, th this uh, event with the YesFam was a uh, demonstration and a proof that of all the hard work and self-development I've done throughout the years. I feel like uh, it's a great way for people to just try new things. That's it. The first thing is try new things. Uh, second thing is grow as a person. And the third thing is to really apply what you've learned and how you've grown to your everyday life. And then also how you can uh, influence people around you. Uh, to push themselves as well uh, and not be afraid of the unknown. I never thought I'm gonna do it. It was on my uh, my uh, bucket bucket list, but I never I thought maybe like after 20 years so because I knew that it's a lot to take on with my anxiety. I faced my fear of heights, I faced my fear of meeting people. I did it, I faced two fears in one time. So, yeah, so yeah. that's great. For me. I've done yeah. <laughs> Amazing. So I would say to train your flight and fight response and just like put yourself out there more. And as the other one said, cheesy as hell. There's something better behind fear. That's something they said, yeah. <laughs> uh, honestly, I've been watching S Theory for probably upwards of five years now. Pretty much just after that they, they originally left Montreal. And uh, you know, I've been watching them, but I haven't applied what I've what I've learned from the videos in a really significant way, and uh, the skydiving, you know, outing these amazing people really taught me how really anything is possible. You really put your mind to it, and if you really let go of uh, what's holding you back, uh, of your fears of what other people tell you you can do or expect you to do or even for yourself what you expect uh, you can do uh, honestly humans can, can surpass 
what they expect from themselves. Fight or flight response kicks in and your body goes, damn, I could either run from this or I can fight through it. And you're putting yourself in a situation where your body has to choose. You know, if you don't push yourself, if you don't seek discomfort, uh, your body is not going to get used to having to decide. It's just going to stay dormant. It's not even going to have the option to, to fight through something, to persevere, because you're not giving yourself the option. You know, you're always running. You're always taking flight from a whole bunch of possibilities that, that you, you, you just reject right away. You say, oh, I can't do it. I. Uh, it's not for me, I'm, I'm too scared. Now that I've gone through this, I'm like, okay, I jumped out of a plane, I can talk to anyone. That's not a big deal. So, I think that's the main takeaway is that if you're scared to do something, do it scared anyways. I respect the hell out of everyone in this group because this jumping out of a plane is not for the faint of heart. Thank you, Yes Theory, for, for building this amazing community of people, of like-minded people who just want to get out of their comfort zone and experience life.